Hello friends, today I will discuss the explanation of negative results of Michelson Morley experiment and Einstein's postulates of theory of relativity. As discussed in the last video lecture that the theoretical results of the Michelson Morley experiment did not match with the experimental results. Theoretically fringe shift result was not zero it was about 0 0.4 but the experimentally it was zero even then the scientists of that time had conviction that ether that is a hypothetical medium and earth moves with respect to it thus there was a lot of debate and discussion regarding this as why there were negative results that is why the theory and experiment results did not match following are the reasons given by the scientist the number one reason was ether drag hypothesis the then scientists assume that ether exists and it is attached with the earth thus it will be dragged with the earth so that the relative velocity of ether and the earth will be zero for example you assume that you are traveling in a train and the relative velocity of you with respect to train is zero because you both have the same velocity similarly if the ether will be attached with the earth therefore the relative velocity of ether and earth will be zero then there will be no fringe shift if this is taken then theory and experimental results will be matched but this hypothesis is discarded as there was no proof for this second hypothesis that is Lorentz Fitzgerald hypothesis given by the two scientists Lorentz and Fitzgerald Lawrence told that the length of the arm, that is the distance between the plate and the mirror M2, I have discussed in the last lecture, that is towards the transmitted side should be L multiplied by under root of 1 minus B square by C square, but not L, where L is the length of the arm, that is the length between the plate and the mirror. Then there will be no fringe shift. If this is taken, then theory and experimental result will get matched. But this hypothesis is also discarded as there was no proof for this. Then came the famous famous uh, postulates of theory of relativity that is uh, popularly known as Einstein's postulates of theory of relativity. Einstein gave his postulates by suggesting that there is no medium, that is there is no medium like ether motion should be considered with respect to a frame of reference. There are two postulates of theory of relativity given by Einstein. The first postulate is known as Einstein's first postulate of theory of relativity. According to it, all the laws of physics are same or have the same form in all the inertial frames of reference, moving with uniform velocity with respect to each other. This postulate is also known as the law of equivalence. Equivalence means that all the laws of physics are equal. About the inertial frame of reference, I have already discussed in my earlier video lectures. Second postulate is, that is Einstein's second postulate of theory of relativity, that is the speed of light is constant in free space or in vacuum in all the inertial frame of reference moving with uniform velocity with respect to each other that is you cannot add anything in the speed of light or you cannot subtract anything from the speed of light this postulate is also known as the law of consistency because the speed of light is constant this is all about the negative results of Michelson Morley experiment and Einstein's postulates of theory of relativity. Please search our website venuscience.com. Please subscribe and like our channel. Thank you.